I decided to make this real quick video off of an Instagram post that I'll put up here that I just saw. And this lady is so right. Stop doing these two things when it comes to setting up your business email and marketing campaign. Number one, jumping right into it. Keep your domains short. I cannot stand whenever somebody has a 40 character domain name. Yes, I may say info at getyourmoneyfixedrightnow.com. Okay, it, that may be right, right off of your tongue, but guess what? It's too long, okay? Make it short enough, but make it memorable enough. And we'll just we'll walk through some of the domains that I have. And number two, quit sending out emails from a Gmail or an Outlook on behalf of your business, okay? Stop doing it. You look totally unprofessional. You do not look legitimate. I want you to only use an email that is associated with your domain name. My company and myself personally, I probably own 30 plus domains. And the reason I do that is because if I have a business idea now, but I haven't really done anything to put it into fruition, I'll already own the domain name, okay? So I have one that's called adwr.org and we'll go in and look at it in a little bit and it's for always do what's right because eventually I want to be able to put together some type of motivational things around always doing what's right so I'm not ready to do that now but I've already got the domain name so that when I am prepared and ready in the future I'll already have that stop promoting your business with a gmail as your email address if you're very serious about what you're doing and you're vested in your business you'll take the time to get a business domain and have an email address associated with that business domain okay so what i want to talk to you about is i'm going to start with squarespace.com and this is where i have all of my personal domains and any domains that's related to any personal businesses i have outside of the ones that i actually have with my um, company that i have partners in and so it's used to be google domains and then now it's squarespace but they're all still connected together i don't know what the relationship is i think squarespace may have bought um, the google domains or whatever but don't even worry about it that's neither here nor there if you type in domains.google you're going to get to Squarespace because that's now who houses all of your Google domains. So I'm already logged in over here and what you're going to see is the adwr.org that I was telling you about. This is alwaysdowhatsright.org. I have it active. bizsuccessfulstart.com because I want to help people start their own businesses. Um, buildwithrandy.com. That may be something how you actually found me here. That one's already active. I have it attached with an email and I also have it attached to my ClickFunnels account. Um, here's one that I had for some courses. Don't know how it ended up here because it should be in my business one, but it's here. renarda.com. That's my name.com. If I want to launch anything that's in general, I can use that one so all these things here you see I started those all because in the future I may have a reason to need these domain names so that I can actually build a business around it and you absolutely have to have an email address with the domain name and now the other cool thing about this is if I click here you see it says this domain has a Google workspace subscription and so what that means is you can have, there's multiple ways that you can actually get an email address that's attached to your domain name. So you, if, if you buy it through GoDaddy, you can actually have GoDaddy set up an email for you. Now, what I would caution you with, if you do it via GoDaddy, if you use their email packaging, then you will only be able to access your email as long as you have everything through GoDaddy, which means if you no longer want that domain or you close down that domain, you still have to pay for it never in order to access your email. <clears throat> it looks just like Outlook, it looks just like Microsoft, but it's a different package. I had to learn that the hard way with my real estate business. However, if you have a domain name and you wanna just attach it to uh, Outlook through Microsoft Office itself, which I would encourage you to do, that is gonna be the better route. Only reason I didn't do that for this particular one is because I already have Microsoft Office, Outlook, so all I really needed here was an email address. Um, and let's see if I can get into my domain space. Hold on. Okay, so uh, what I was able to do is you just go to google.com and then over here, you've got to log in with your Google profile. So right now it's the R because that's my build with uh, Randy site. So it's the R because it's the info at buildwithrandy.com and then these are my other profiles. So this is my main profile, but this one right here is the one that we're logged into now. So because I have this Google workspace that's attached to my Squarespace, this is where I'm actually housing my email. Okay, so you go log into it just like you would log into Google and then you just change up here to info 
at buildwithrandy.com. So whatever you had in Squarespace, let's see if we still got that down here, yep. So here's the Squarespace, here's buildwithrandy.com, and what I wanted to do was add an email address to go with it. You see right here, it says this domain has a Google Workspace subscription. You can set that up in through any of these. So if I went into adwr.org, you can go in here, and you can go under email, and then right here it will tell you get a unique Google Workspace email and then you can just go in here and get started and click on it and that was that's how you would actually have an email address associated with that domain name. I've already done that so let's just jump right over so you can see what it looks like. All right, so whenever I go over here, then you just go into the um, Gmail part of it. So it looks like Gmail y'all because it's Gmail, but guess what? It's not a Gmail domain name, all right? So you don't have to give up the functionality of Gmail just because you have a business account with a business domain, all right? It's going to look just like Gmail, but it's not gonna look like that to your end user. So let's send an email to this. Okay, so I just sent an email from my phone to this email address. And you can even have it down here where it says enable desktop notifications. You can do that. I'm not doing it, so I'll just put no thanks. All right, so let's wait and see does this come in. There it is, Renata Jones test webinar. You open it up, guess what? It looks exactly just like your Gmail because it's Gmail, but yet it's coming to info at buildwithrandy.com. And it's coming to a business domain, but it is a Gmail uh, service in the background. So please stop sending out emails from your business using a Gmail domain, okay? As you can see from what I just showed you on the screen, you can have the Gmail interface and nobody knows that but you, but your actual email address has your business domain name in it, okay? So now you may say, well, Renarda, what do I put in front of the domain name? Should it be my name? Should it be my initials? What should it be? For that one you saw, I use info at billwithrandy.com. Now, sometimes whenever you use info, people think that that's so general it may end up in a spam box or people may not say well nobody's really monitoring that box it's just there for show and that could be the case sometimes especially for big businesses who have a lot going on um, so for my actual pharmacy business our consulting organization all of our emails start with our first letter of our first name and then our last name and then the domain name uh, I do have that set up for other things as well but for this particular one it's so my audience is so broad and I wanna be able to not just pigeonhole myself with Bill with Randy to be certain things. Um, I sell my Medicare products through there. I'm doing my wealth education through there. So therefore it's just info at versus having it attached to my name. And also the Randy part already has my name. That's like having Renarda at Renarda.com. That doesn't really make sense. Two things I want you to take away from this video. Number one, keep your domain name short. And number two, quit sending emails out from a Gmail, a Hotmail, an Outlook. It needs to have your business domain in it.